Hello everyone, my name is Quadi and welcome to a quick guide on Deb Bonds. You will sadly need quite a huge amount of them depending on the amount of customizations you will do, but more about this later. There is five kinds of Deb Bonds, the common and the rare variety, the common ones being the training and shelter Deb Bonds, and the rarer ones being medical, advances and familial Deb Bonds. First we'll go over where to get them and then we'll look at why do we actually need them, so yeah, there is a couple of ways to get them. The first one are the bounties. Every bond drops on specific tier, here is a quick list of which bond drops on which tier, so yeah. It is always the same with other rewards besides that bonds being slightly changed by kind or drop chance. In all the bounties, the drop chance of dead bonds is capped with 20% max with exception of tier 5 bounty being 25. These drop chances decrease with every stage to about 13%, so you're less likely to get deb bonds on the second stage of the bounty and even less on the third stage, so yeah. The first stage is the maximum. That is really all about the first grindier way, but let's go to the second one now. Ticker, the lovely guy on top of Fortuna sells the deb bonds if you're willing to pay credits, and resources to buy out war criminals. Most of the time you will only get the commoner deb bonds this way, but sometimes you will also get the rarer ones, but in low amounts. So yeah, if you're a starter, I do not suggest you to buy them, try to spend your credits on weapons and warframes. They are a much better investment if you ask me. These two ways are actually the only two ways to get deb bonds before you rank up to rank 5 of Solaris United, after you are rank 5 with the SU, there is the third way, last way, the Profit Taker, the big boss of Orb Valis. By starting the phase 4 of the bounty and destroying the Profit Taker, you will get 3 medical debt bonds, 2 advances debt bonds, and 1 familial debt bond as the reward, plus other stuff, all of them being doubled if you have the double resource booster, so yeah, 2 familial debt bonds, which is not a small amount. The use of deb bonds varies, one of them is ranking up with Solaris United, quite straightforward, depending on the rank you will need different bonds. 10 training bonds are used to guild your MOA companions at legs and 10 shelter bonds are needed to guild your kit guns at root zood. For real, you will need a lot of these if you want to complete every single thing. If you have more than enough deb bonds, you can also trade them in at ticker for Solaris United standing, which it's just great if you have more than enough of them, yeah. If there is a Valentine's event, Ticker will be selling stuff for deb bonds you have excess of. Obviously, Valentine related, such as wings, heart arrows, color palettes, all of them a good investment if you ask me. You can't go into depth in Warframe, so why not waste the deb bonds? But with this, I actually told you everything. The deb bonds are a peculiar resource to farm just because they are so random sometimes. I myself remember helping a friend get some familial deb bonds and we just couldn't get them from the bounties. It is insane. Now there is one more way which I didn't even mention before which is completely unreliable finding deb bonds in the caves of Orb Valis. I got one once and I've been playing since the release of Fortuna so yeah, beyond unreliable. I hope this helped you at least a little bit, any questions down in the comments are welcome, I read every single one of them and most of the time I just reply, so yeah. That's it, thank you for watching, please like, comment, share and maybe even subscribe and have a nice day. Bye guys!